the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, everyone, as we gather today on this Monday of the fifth week of Easter. We celebrated Mother's Day yesterday, and during this month of May, we, we honor our Blessed Mother, Mary. As you can see, the image of Mary under the title of Our Lady of Fatima is with us in the church today. As we come together to celebrate our faith and to prepare our hearts to meet with Jesus in this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins, our unworthiness, and ask God now to grant us mercy and forgiveness for all our sins. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord, to Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help so that defended by all wicked, w wickedness, by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Iconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw that Paul, what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this, and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not, not to, to us, us, O Lord, but, but to your, your name, name give, give glory. glory. 
Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not Not to to us, us, O Lord, but but to to your your name name give give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to to us, us, O Lord, Lord, but but to your your name name give give the glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to Jesus, Master, then what happened to you will will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, Yet the words you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this, that while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever had a situation in your life where you just wanted to pull your hair out and, oh, I don't understand. Well, Paul and Barnabas, the apostles, had that kind of a situation today in the first reading that we heard from the Acts of the Apostles. And remember, we read from the Acts of the Apostles during this Easter season to tell us of the development of the early church and the spread of Christianity, especially now to the Gentiles, the Greeks, And we hear in the Acts of the Apostles how Paul cured a man uh, uh, who was lame, who couldn't walk, told him to stand, get up, and he walked. Well, the people saw this, and they were all excited about it, for sure. Anybody who would see such a thing probably would be excited about it. But then they thought that Paul and Barnabas were some kind of gods. They called them Zeus and, and, and other names. And Paul and Barnabas were just like, get hold of yourselves, people. We're just, we're just men, just people, just like you are. We're not gods. But it was through the power of God that this healing occurred, that this man was able to walk. Paul, of course, St. Paul, who is very prominent in the New Testament, brings to us these words of Jesus the gospel message. And he is the one who promotes Christ and who teaches them about Christ, the Savior of the world. Jesus, in our gospel today, tells us that if you are to be my disciples, that you will indeed love me. And if you love me, that you will follow my commandments. Not because he wants to rule over us in any way, but because what Jesus teaches us is for our, our good, to help us to develop, to be, to be the best that we can possibly be. Jesus is God who is, who is teaching us these things to help us to just to, to be the best. And it would do us good to do that. He's also giving us a hint that the Holy Spirit will come upon us. During this Easter season, we are leading up to 
the, the Feast of Pentecost, which will ultimately conclude the Easter season, when the Holy Spirit will come down upon the apostles and, and will change them and charge them to, to go out and, and make disciples of all the nations as Jesus commanded them. And so we are in this time now, this time of the Holy Spirit, the advocate whom God sent, that will remind us all of what Jesus taught us. He indeed is alive. The Holy Spirit is with us. In fact, we cannot even say that Jesus is Lord without the, the power and the prompting of the Holy Spirit in our life. And so the Holy Spirit of God is extremely important for us. And it is the Spirit who is with us now, who allows all this to happen, who allows the bread and wine to become the body and blood of Jesus, who allows us to be followers of Christ, who gives us that power and that energy to sanctify us and to, and to keep us alive in our faith. We thank God for his Spirit that is upon us, we thank God for the Son that he sent into this world to deliver us. We thank God for giving us life and for loving us as powerfully as he does. Please join me now in the prayers that we offer today. We bring our needs before Almighty God with confidence that our prayers will indeed be heard and answered. That our church leaders may be conformed by Christ even more into his image in their preaching of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations and peoples may be guided by the generous and compassionate hand of God in all they do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who are living without religious freedom may be filled with courage through the grace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in this faith community may be drawn closer to the Lord in his fullness through his grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may know the glory of God and rest in eternal peace at his side. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this Mass, we especially pray for the intentions of Patty Brown and for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O generous and merciful God, we ask that you listen to the prayers that we place before you this day. In the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is risen and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord is the sacrifice of his hands. We praise the glory of his name for our good and the good of all the holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as together we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and you are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Father, welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, St. Barnabas, and all the saints who have pleased you, Father, throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, together we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, Lord, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called now to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of his paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My thanks to all of you for, for participating at Mass today and being with us. Wherever you are, here in Las Vegas or in other parts of the country, as so many of you have have notified us and said that you're watching. Thank you for being a part of our Mass today. Thank you for your support, your, your donations, and all that you have done to, to help us to keep our, our ministry and our mission going. We very much appreciate it, and may God bless you for that. And as we still continue to deal with this uh, uh, pandemic, this coronavirus uh, issue that we're dealing with, I hope that all of you are are keeping safe, that you are well. And today we'd like to pray on behalf of, the, we'll ask the Blessed Mother on, to pray with us and for us. So we ask her for her intercession as we deal with this virus. And please pray along with us as the words will be uh, on the screen. And so we pray. O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust, we entrust ourselves, ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus', Jesus plan, while, while remaining steadfast in faith. faith. O oh, loving Mother, you know, know what we need, and, and we are confident that, that you will provide for us, as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son, Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede, Intercede also for those, for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. 
Under thy protection we seek refuge, O Holy Mother of God. In our needs despise not our petitions, but deliver us always from all danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. And so now let us receive God's blessing as we conclude this Mass today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is now ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.